Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Node.js and Express series. This episode, I'm going to be going over how to use Express, Routes, and uh, yeah. Don't know when I met you, but I met you. Don't know why I love you, but I love you all. It's something about that dress, the way it fits you. I don't even want to tell you to take it off. Baby, take it off. So, yeah, so we're back, and uh, I pretty much lied to you last episode. I said that we would just use this folder here, this little project, but I want you to get used to being able to make um, the node application. So we're going to do the code all over again, you know, just get that in your brain and all that stuff. So we're going to make a new folder here and we're going to call it, um, hmm, I guess this will be our final folder that we'll use for the rest of the tutorial, I guess, for this website at least. So we'll call it, um, let's just do... Let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'll do gaming website, just something simple and generic. Gaming website, there we go. So inside of that, we're gonna open git bash here, of course. And okay, so we're gonna do npm init, of course. Good. Gaming website, okay, I like that name. Pretty simple. Version one, description, a website for games. <laughs> simple. Keywords, author, Illuminati Productions, the best YouTuber on the planet. Looks good to me. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's just go ahead and install um, Express so we can get that going. Of course, we need Express to run a web server, of course, a node server. So npm install express dash dash save. There we go. Boom, let that work. And while that's going, we're going to open up our, our project here. Open folder. Then we got to find it, find the folder, click the folder, select folder. There we go. Okay. Uh, leave me alone. I, I forgot to disable those somehow. Okay, so we're in here. And uh, let's go ahead and make uh, app.js, app.js. And inside of app.js, of course, we're going to have our basic, you know, Website layout, so we're gonna do constant. You can do var, var, var variable, you know. You could do like a regular JavaScript var, but it's, um, I guess, standard practice nowadays to use const, because um, a constant value, of course, never changes, and uh, I don't even know, but yeah. So const um, express is equal to require express, okay? So we're just adding the package, of course. And then we're gonna do const app is equal to express, but express as a function, right? Or method I use I usually call methods functions and functions methods you know because they're pretty much the same thing I guess um, depends on the language I guess maybe so um, yeah so now that we have that we can go ahead and listen on port 3000 because that's just what I use usually I usually use 3000 or 5000 doesn't really matter so we're gonna have our callback function right here now which is gonna be again the code that runs whenever you start your server whenever you start listening on port 3000 so we're gonna say uh, gaming website has started up made by Illuminati Productions okay cool so that's awesome let's go ahead and add our semi semicolons um, there we go so we're all done with that let's just go ahead and run this just to make sure it's working to verify okay awesome it says gaming website has started up made by Illuminati Productions cool so now we're going to learn about routes, okay? So routes is basically um, a way for you, a way for your website to take you places, basically. So you have routes for like getting a web page, excuse me, routes for um, posting a web page. It's just like a bunch of little terms, but basically what this, what, what this basically means, okay, is just like if you go to, um, like for example, um, gamingwebsite.com slash at the end slash. Um, What's it called? We'll just make up a thing. So we'll do slash hello or no slash login. It's going to take you to the login page. So also maybe if we do slash game one, it'll take us to one of the games. So we're not actually having what's called static um, web pages. Like um, for example, a static web page could be like index.html. Oops, what the fuck? Excuse my language. 
and docs.html or anything that ends with HTML, CSS, those are static web pages, okay? That meaning they can't change, okay? So what we're going to be working with are dynamic web pages, meaning that they can change just depending on the data that you send the URL. It's just all very magical. And don't worry, we'll be learning plenty about this. So I'm going to open up a website just to demonstrate this to you, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're on this website here. It's a gaming website that I used to play in, like, eighth grade. Um, so... Pretty much like every major website on the internet right now is basically a dynamic website, meaning that they have this slash thing at the end, which are basically routes, you could say. And so, for example, we're on top rated games. This is a route right here, okay? And uh, yeah, so we don't have top rated games.html. It's not actually an HTML file we're generating. It's generating a dynamic web page file, which is made of HTML, but it also has JavaScript mixed in with it. So, for example, all these games here, it's not going to be the same thing every day. It just depends on what's the top game is for that day or week or whatever, okay? So it changes over time. So be, meaning that the developers, they don't ever have to change the code. It updates by itself just depending on the code in your database. It's all super, super amazing. That's the point of having node applications and dynamic websites and stuff like that. You don't have to constantly update your website. You don't have to constantly add new pages for different games. Look, each of these games here, let's click on one. Let's look at the URL. It says slash game slash ninja kiwi slash bloons cd5. There's no static web page extension, so die HTML. This game is generated by a server. Like this is this is just mind blowing. Okay, this whole website here is a template. If we open up the code here by doing right click and view source, we can see the code for the website. This is all a template. This is literally the same code for every single game on this website. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh god. No, be quiet. Tab. So, um, yeah, all the code is basically the same for every website except for like some of the URLs inside of here. Um, they're put in there because it's a template basically. Your code that we'll be working with is going to be a template. It's just a lot. It's all very complicated and crazy, but yeah. Okay, so now that I rambled on about the wonders of a dynamic website, let's go ahead and start making some routes. All right, so let's go back to our IDE here, of course. And we're going to get rid of this crap here that we've made. Okay, so we're going to make our first route. It's just so magical. So, um, let's... Okay, so to make our first route, we're going to be calling on the app um, constant up here. So we're going to be calling on this to make a route. So app dot get. Okay, so this is now a route. So now what, is, what um, we put inside of here, our first parameter is a string. We put in here a route name. So slash whatever you want it to be so we'll um we'll name our first route um hello so we'll do slash hello okay and so that's that so now we need a callback function which is going to be the code of course if you remember that runs whenever for example we go to this route okay so good uh we're going to run console.log oops you have come to the no we'll just say hello hello okay so let's go over this again so we use app.get to do a route okay and so we do slash hello and that takes us to the hello route okay and so this code will run and it's going to say hello if it works properly so let's go ahead and test this out okay so we need to restart our web server of course so node app.js okay so we're on localhost 3000 it's loading and good it says cannot get slash that means it works basically okay and when it, we can actually start putting code here in a second or words like you know we'll see don't worry so um anyway so let's go ahead and uh, check our console to see if it worked okay so we didn't get any message down here why well we didn't actually go to the route we're still on the home page right the index.html basically page on a regular website so we're on the home page right now but if we do slash hello at the end of course that takes us to the hello route okay and whenever we run this route, it's going to run this code that we put in the ID a second ago. Okay, so slash hello. Okay, it's just infinitely loading because we don't have any other code just except for this console.log. And boom, it works. It says hello at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of small, I know. But yeah, so we have this code down here. So that works. It worked. Okay, so awesome. That works. That's our first very, that's our very first route. And I hope you're proud of yourself because routes are pretty cool. When I first learned it, I was like, wow. That's cool. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so what can we do now, okay? So, um, let's actually get something to show up on the web page, okay? Because we don't want to have just, like, that's boring what we have right now. I mean, it's cool because we actually did it for the first time, but we want to actually send stuff to our web page, okay? So our users can actually see something, you know? 
So we'll we'll do this, okay? So I actually forgot to add, tell you to add something. We actually have to have two parameters inside of this callback function. It worked uh, for now because we didn't actually use them yet. So uh, don't worry. So we have to use these, these two functions here: uh, rec for request and then res for um, what's it called? Res. What's, what's res stand for? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah. Anyway, so make sure you have whenever you make a route, you um, add these two parameters inside of your callback function, okay? Because we'll be needing them to do various things, okay? So basically, the rec um, parameter is going to allow you to get information from the route. So we can get parameters from the route when we start learning about that. We can get um, just a bunch of information from the route. We can probably get the IP. We can do a bunch of stuff, okay? So uh, actually, let me prove that to you. If we do console.log and we put rec as the um, you know the parameter for the for the printout thingy. Um, whenever we go to slash hello, it'll print out rec, which is an object. It'll print out everything that's inside of there. So let's test that out, okay? So let's restart. Okay, so let's reload. Okay, let's go to here now. And look, it printed out the whole object. This is all the information that you can retrieve from a request, the rec. So we can get the host. We can get, like, everything. Like, it's a lot of stuff. Imagine how fun that would be. Like, once you start learning how to do all this, you can mess around with this stuff. That, that sounds kind of cool, you know? Um, but yeah, there's so much you could do. So basically, rec is just for gathering information, okay? That's, uh, excuse my language, um, getting information, basically, okay? So, now we have the res um, object, okay? And the res object is basically just for sending stuff to your web page. That's exactly what it's for. We can send um, dynamic web page code, like I told you before, which is a mix between HTML and JavaScript. We'll be able to send that, send the files for that. But for now, we're going to be able to send a message to our web page, okay? So we can get words to show up on our web page, basically, okay? So we'll do res.send, and then we just send the message. So we'll do hello, welcome to the hello route. Awesome, okay? So that's cool. And let's go ahead and stop this. Oh, it was already stopped, so we can run this again. And okay, so we're going to reload now. And nothing here because we're still on the home page. So we'll do slash low. Then boom, it says hello, welcome to the hello route. Okay, and that's pretty cool. We can actually get something to show up on a web page now. And I know that's simple. I know we don't, you know, have the capabilities of actually showing some actual cool things yet that you would be able to show on, for example, this website. But don't worry. Um, in like two episodes, we're actually going to start. Um, maybe three episodes, we're going to start learning about how to actually add code to our web pages. And don't worry, it's going to be awesome. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and make some more routes, okay? So we know how to make a route, basically, but we're going to do some repetition, okay? With coding, you want to rep you want to do a lot of repetition so you can get the code in your head. You want to know how to do things, okay? Um, if you don't know how to do, uh, do things, you of course, you can use my reference that I'll leave in the description, my um, code snippets. But anyway, so... Let's go ahead and make a new route, okay, for the home page, okay? So how do you make a route for the home page? Well, all you got to do is have a slash, okay? So slash is basically just the home route, okay? So we have that route here, and we got to have the callback function, and right, remember, you have the callback function with two parameters, rec and res. There we go. Okay, so when we get to the home page, we'll do res.send. Welcome to my website. Okay. And then we could do, we can send another one if we want to, I think. I, sh I think it works like that. Um, enjoy your stay. I'm not sure if we can send two or like if they override each other, but we'll see. Fun to experiment with things like that. So we're going to go ahead and restart, of course. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to our home page now. It says, welcome to my website. And I guess we can't have two. That's fine, okay. But at least it says, you know, welcome to my website. We know that the route works now. And that's pretty cool, okay. So, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and make, uh, let's do one more um, different route. So we'll do app.get, and then we'll do slash hmm, game, okay, function, rec, res, there we go. You just, you don't worry, you get used to typing this if it's like weird to you. If this is like hieroglyphics, don't worry, you get used to it real fast. I sure did, but don't worry if you don't, I mean, that's just code. You'll get used to it. So we'll say, um, welcome. Uh, we'll say, let's do something different. We'll say, hmm, enjoy the game or something stupid. Enjoy the game. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't type. 
Okay, so there we go. So we have this game route now. So we're going to go ahead and run this one. Don't worry about this error. We can read, let's say, I cannot set headers. Okay, that's probably just the error from overlay for having this here. We don't want to have two anymore. Okay, so we know not to do that. That's fine. Let's reload. Okay, that still works. So let's go to slash game. Awesome. So it says enjoy the game. So that works now. And yeah, so, okay, so now that we know how to make routes, um, we're done pretty much for this episode. Um, routes are very magical, okay? Once we learn routes, we can pretty much do start doing a lot of things, okay? So, uh, yeah. So if you like this episode, leave a like, okay? Please leave a like. If you have any coding buddies or anybody, anybody who's interested in code, send it to them. Maybe share it. I don't know. And don't forget, also, we have a link in the description that shows you the code from this episode. So you can use it as a reference. You could check it out. It even has a short, well, not really short. This one's kind of long. It has an explanation for it if you don't remember what I said. And yeah, so it has all the code and explains it and it's good to go. So whenever maybe you're coding on your own without watching my videos, like in a month from now or something like that, you have all my code. You could save it, bookmark all the links I gave you. You can use it as a reference. So if you don't remember it, remember how to use a route, make sure you go to express routes, okay? So anyway, um, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description for you. Make sure you check it out. Also, we have a Discord that's in the description. Check it out too. Oh, actually that Discord, I deleted it. So I should probably uh, put a new link in there. I'll do that soon. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Um, yeah, so um, peace.